<sighs> now it's time for my fave. <laughs> uh, man, we still got a ways to go before we get to my fave. But yeah, I am Super Mario Sonic Lover. And I'm Yunova 1995. And welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. Uh, we're starting with the original game in the series now. Uh, or, well, the final mix version, rather, but yeah. Kingdom this... Hearts Final Mix. This is my favorite game. And you wanted me to do Proud, didn't you? Yep. I get thrown off because it says, like, Final Mix, Normal, Proud, and stuff on this. Um, it, just, it just says Final Mix. Sorry, it just says, well, in the original version, there's only two difficulties. Standard and, uh, and Expert. Uh, do I want Vibration? Not really. Alright, uh, I think there's gonna be a small lag on there. Maybe if I close the tabs or two. Mm. There you go. Oh, that's much better. I think. And it should be starting the intro now? I think? Yeah, it's gonna cut to the intro. Right. Yeah, I think I'm lagging slightly. Mm. I don't know, maybe if I cl I'll, close, I'll close the background tab too. Still lagging. How bad is it? Uh, it's like... Do, 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 um, this, what's a good what's a good what's a good comparison? Uh, oh, hang on. Hi, Sora. <laughs> it's like kind of like it's not it's not smooth. It's like kind of choppy, like a choppy. Just a little, just a little choppy. Mm. Well, so I gotta remember where recording both audios in one go so I can't just edit us out <laughs> so yeah we're, so you, we were talking over this yeah we, we talked over the burp I sleep intro but we I cut that out yeah this is the most trippy intro in the entire series by a long shot fittingly enough it's probably the most appropriate hmm well it's actually probably the most well, probably also the simplest in the weird in a weird yeah. way yeah, but it's like, it tells you the least amount of things about the story, because like, the other ones have like these story kind of uh, rules or whatever you want to call it. We need to keep seeing Sora fail to grab Kyrie as she goes yeah. through him. Yeah, I mean, if they showed anything too much, they'd spoil a lot. Um, so. I mean, like, like the SA1 opening. Yeah. I mean, with a Birth by Sleep, it's spoiling the ending, but... If you go by release order and complete Kingdom Hearts 2, then, or Final Mix at least, you would have seen that. I think it's in vanilla. Well, in I think in vanilla it just shows you, like, uh, a bit before the the fight. Mm. Yeah, well, it just, it just shows basically the cutscene as soon as Xehanort and, uh, and uh, Vanitas walk in, and then yeah. Like all... them in their but the only thing is they're all they're already in their keyblade armor. Yeah, it, it just ends with it all began with birth by sleep. <laughs> and Mickey and Mickey's there. No, yeah. Sora, we we're nowhere near Dream Drop distance. What are you doing? Suddenly we're over the ocean. <laughs> yeah. Well, like I said, yeah. Like, like I said, this is my favorite Kingdom Hearts game because this is. This where the story is that it's it's base it's most basic and it's yeah. most uh well it's least confusing. Yeah, they weren't uh so like engrossed in making this plot as convoluted as possible back then. Mm -hmm. And also this is like I, was, I think I said it before in the Birth by Sleep Let's Play, but this also has the most charm in Disney. Yeah, Star. yeah, because uh, you feel the magical uh charm. You aren't exactly sure what's going on, but you like it. Yeah, but like you know, it's a Disney game, so yeah, in a way. But you're supposed so like you kind of would hope for it to be there. Hmm. And I mean, we're not saying that it's completely gone in the other games, but it's mostly not apparent. Prevalent. Not as prevalent. Yeah. Hi, Sora. <laughs> so much to do, so little time. Take your time. Don't be afraid. Don't be choppy, come on. <coughs> Do not. It's like it's barely looking up from Snow White at this point. Okay, I'm gonna start moving. Tell me how it is. Now, step forward. Can you do it? I I, I still see step forward. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, that's bad. Is it? Okay, let me 
Try. I, I, Sora's starting running forward a little bit and he's stuck on that frame. Now I see the shield. Let me try restarting the screen share. Yeah, one second, folks. Just, uh. Watch this okay. amazing animation. Yeah. PS2 in people. Back yep. then. Okay, how is it now? Alright, uh, jump. Did you jump? Yeah, I'm jumping. I can't see anything. What the hell? Uh, it might be my signal. Um. Hang on. Let me try. Try starting to call again, I guess. Alright, uh, we'll be here just a second, guys. Yeah. Rip. Okay, okay then. then. Um, ah! Double! Uh, hang on. Now, now that happened, I gotta fix the slow thing here. Hold on. <laughs> So I was just looking at the camera like, what? <laughs> okay, okay, it's still kind of choppy, but it's, it's not bad. You need to put off your mic on the screen. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I, Oops. I'm going to leave that in as a blooper, I guess. <laughs> Alright, okay. so anyways, that happened. Okay, so what this is basically saying is, like, choose which uh, type of ability you want the most and the one you want the least. So yeah, um, yeah, this will also um, give you a small stat buff, the, uh, um, and to, this will mess with your abilities too. If you yeah. choose the sword, it, you'll get an attack buff, and most of your uh, stats. I think you also get a small. Hey, hey, sorry, you get attack buff, and most of your skills from here on will be uh, uh, offensive based. So like, um, like what's it called? Like blitz. You'll yeah. Get that sooner. Yeah, and I mean, uh, this is. I I want to say this is the most defensive game in the series, so we're gonna go for the sword. Uh, I mean, go with the shield and get rid of the magic. Yeah. If you choose the sh yeah, when you choose the shield, you get a small HP. You get an HP boost, and your uh, what is it? You uh, and, and most of your abilities from here on will be a bit more about supportive. Yeah, and I want to get I want to get Dodra as soon as possible. Yeah. And you also get stuff like second chance faster. Yeah. I've never chosen a run with the magic, but you get basically stuff like the um, boosts and all that. Mm. I think you get leaf brace. A, a leaf bracer, I think, is sooner here or on uh, or on the magic. But I... the thing is, when you pick one, you also have to drop one. Yeah, I don't uh, use magic a lot in this game. Yeah, it's not terrible in this game. Yeah, but, but can... it's a lot more situational. It's a lot better in Kingdom Hearts 2. Even though there's but, um, there's because he dropped the magic, when he gets magic later, he's not gonna have as much MP. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it, it's it's kind of it's kind of bad uh, when you want to uh, abuse limits and stuff, but. It's, it, yeah, I think I think if he took the magic, if he dropped the shield, for example, the sword, for example, he would have had an extra magic slot. Hmm. And there would be times we have to fight. Ah, these guys. The most adorable outtrick abominations you can think of. Pretty much. The shadows. Yep. Basically your goombas for this game. Mm -hmm. Now one thing I do like about Kingdom Hearts 1 compared to the other ones is um, we'll get to it in a little bit. Uh, I'm not sure if the game will mention it, but um, there when you guard attacks or attack at certain times or, or locations on an enemy, you get tech points. Yeah, that's something I really love about this game. That's not in the others. Yeah, but yeah, what the tech points do is they'll give you their extra experience for um, exploding weakness or whatever, like I said. Yeah. And that can really help for just general grinding and stuff because you just get some extra points and that's always, always good. There's, there's even abilities that increase the amount of tech points you get per, any, per time you do it. Yeah. And also, you can also get tech points by uh, using magic against like... Uh, like, like the red rap, so like the like the red nocturnes or the blue rap, Sodi. Yeah, use the right magic ability, then you get a tech point. No. Oh, I'm drowning. Okay, wait, dead. Game over. <laughs> See in Kingdom Hearts two. <laughs> or Chain of Memories. Ah, <laughs> uh, right. that game can wait. Oh, oh, it can wait. Not that it's bad, just the game. It it's not. I. I enjoy Chain of Memories, but jeez, is it a grind. Yeah. It's still kind of laggy, but I can deal with this. Mm. Can't open it. Nope. Not even, it's barely there. 
Magic. Now, we're playing Final Mix based off the 1.5 HD remix. So one yep. thing I can immediately mention that they changed in from the PS2 version is, um, yeah, is the, you may have noticed it, the triangle prompt there. Yeah. In the um, in the original version, do you see the bottom slot on your command menu? Yeah, doesn't it like? That was a question mark. That's, that was a question mark in the uh, original version. That was your, basically whenever you wanted to open a chest or or like do something like or stuff like that, you you'd have to move down to there yeah, on the do menu the, and then hit the button. You do it like that. That can really screw up things because that can all. That's also where your uh, um, limits go. Yeah, I can imagine that being an awkward thing. They simplified it and made it more familiar by mapping it to the triangle button. I mean, I went into the series very late, but I'm kind of glad I did, because if I didn't get into the series when these remixes came out, uh, my view might be a, quite a bit different than it is. I think in the original version 2, um, using L1, you had to turn the camera with L1 and R1. Hmm. I think. Now, this is something else I find kind of interesting about this game right here. Yeah. This, you... Um, you, you, Selfie, Waka, and Titus here. You, you're just gonna ask you a quick question, and then, th then you can. Uh, this will mess up your, how your experience is actually gained. Yeah, and you want me to do like uh, yeah, normal for yeah, Right. Um, the simple way to do this is um, you yeah, being different. Uh, so it's always, it's, it's always the yeah, middle one. the middle for all of them. Yeah. If you choose right. the top, and if you choose the top one for uh, each answer here, you'll get um, leaving at dawn. Which is um you'll you'll get a you'll get a lot of experience you get experience really quickly soon, at the beginning of the game. But in the late game, you're gonna really lag. Yeah. Choosing the option we have here. Well, as it's saying. A second. Yep. As it loads up once it says it. <laughs> <laughs> you have to hit a button. Oh okay. I'll, yeah, I'll schedule skipping stuff. Yeah, we're doing midday. Keep a steady pace and you'll come through fine. Is this basically means your experience is even throughout the whole game? Yeah, I don't know why why I got the or my first playthrough, so I'm gonna guess you tried answering them honestly. Yeah, <laughs> I think <laughs> I got um get better experience later on because like when I was grinding um like at like level seventy and stuff, it was going really quick. Yeah, the one he's talking about is um. Uh... Dead of Night, where yeah. you'll get in, you'll, you'll you'll lag a bit, quite a bit early on, but you'll really get the experience when when it, when it counts later on. Mm. I like a steady progression, so we're going with midday. It will it will help, yeah. 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 Uh, again, we we might that it, it's gonna feel a bit like stable at points, but it's better that than like just like where is it already? Yeah. Or like or like a a really hard beginning of the game. Yeah. I love this song. I love, yeah, it's not, it's not like a, um, kind of an, basically an incomplete version of the battle theme of the last world, but it's, it's so good. I think it plays the main battle theme when we get to our special little friend later. Hmm. Oh, he -ha, he -ha. Oh, he -ha. oh, 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 oh. I yeah. hope we got that. I hope we got that during our stream, because that because yeah. your audio cut off at a point. Well, I mean, it it does. It would probably only be cutting off for you because it's coming from my side. Oh, it just didn't get me. It mostly got you. Right. I don't think it cut you off at any point. Right. Same glass stairs. Yeah. Save the game here. Don't need to explain this. Yep. Save points. What do you think? I think you just saved all your old file. No, I moved down. Okay, it, it was, the lag must have gotten to me. I mean, I, that would suck because that actually happened to gamers joint on Dream Drop Distance. Oh. <laughs> He's like, okay, let's save the game. I'll wait. <laughs> yeah, Sora also kind of moves a bit, I mean, a little sluggish here. Mm, well, it's mostly. Well, I, think this is actually, I think this is actually the most realistic running speed aim you can think of for like this. I think the running speed is fine. The, it's the jump that feels a little bit weird. Mm. And now we have the the staple of pretty much everything. Yeah. Because he has to be in everything that relates to Sora. Well, not even just that. Just pretty much every game. Hmm? It's in it's in the uh, key. It's in Burp by Sleep. It's in this. It's even in it's even in zero point two. Yeah. By the. It's in uh, free, it's in three five eight actually. Yeah, it is. And meet. And this is Dark Side, everybody. Yep. 
And this is also the first instance where you can figure out you get tech points. Yep. Um, but this is early game, so he he does he is a bit of a threat still right, right now. Mm. So his weak the points you can hit him are his hand and his head. Careful, that punch can hurt you. It's not a shockwave like in 3.8. Now what you yeah. want to do is run up the arm. Yeah. Right. And then lock onto the head if you can. Get off the lock on. Ah. <laughs> get off the lock on. Oh, did you, when you strike the head with a, with, a, with a full combo, you get tech points. I, I need to adjust back to this game's mechanics. You know, when I saw that the HD remix was gonna be a thing, I was really happy. Oh, here comes this. Oh, uh, this looks familiar. You can hit those bursts back at him for uh, tech points. But take oh, training. yes! Ramp up right away. Nice. Ow. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. I don't I don't know how much help this guy has, but you can give a little bit of a beating. Oh yeah, that's another thing. Why I don't why I never drop the shield aim the sword mm -hmm. is um I like I don't wanna I don't wanna lose any power. Right. Oh. It's kinda hard to see him too against the black background. There we go. Also, that, that's also where you do the most damage to him, so it's worth hitting it. Yeah. I'd kill the shadows if you can. I think early on they can still drop potions. Hmm. Yeah, this is also where items can be, are, are not a, are still useful, just not as much. Yeah. I mean, I think they become they're a lot more useful in two, especially if you are going for the optional stuff. Yeah, because like the thing of two is that when you cure, it depletes all your MP. They did the same thing in, two, in 0 0.2. Yeah, and I do like that because it actually makes you use the uh, other. Uh, use your items. Uh, yeah, a nice thing to point out here when you're doing the tech points when they're hitting those back, it's two, It's one for hitting It's two, one for hitting the, the ball, two for hitting in because it reflects back at his head. Yeah. And that's always good. Same thing happens when you're fighting, um. Like, should I say the name yet or do I want to wait? Uh, I don't know what you're referring to. Um, one of the optional bosses. Mm, I, mm, I think we should save it. All right. Fun fact: my first time playing the game, I died to this guy. Well, to be fair, I died to the for the uh, guy in Kingdom Hearts 2 at my first go. What the giant dusk thing? Yeah. Hmm. Well, it, mostly because it, I wasn't understanding like reaction command spam. That aim for that was kind of the point. Yeah, same. I didn't know what I was doing. Those thorns really did hurt. Mm. Alright, now we're gonna go back to the real world, I think. Mm -hmm. But then we gotta go back in to stop dreamy aim things. Wait. Mm -mm -mm. I'm sorry, wrong franchise. <laughs> same composer, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, you talking about Dream Team? Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, Mario and Luigi in general is Yoko Shinomura. Yeah, yeah, I know. Also, here's where, where you can... Well, we can say it for earlier anyways, but here's also where we figure out that the soundtrack was redone from the PS2 version. Yeah. And it, reorchestrate, reorchestrate, and it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's so good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think in the um, Did You Know game, they said that this game had to be redone from scratch from the ground up. Yeah, they like lost, they lost the original game or something. Yeah, they didn't have the um, old like files or whatever. Hmm. But really good that they managed to get everything back and just as it is. Yeah. There are a few changes that Final Mix does, but I'll bring them up when they when it comes prevalent. Yeah. Well, like, so like. With the leveling up and all that, the same, but like, um, abilities were added. Yeah. From like the later games, like, um, Leaf Bracer, for example, I believe was added. Oh, that wasn't in the original? Hmm. Nope. But it costs a lot of AP. Mm. Like, I think, it, I think it's five this early. Oh, uh, we're gonna hate this guy later, trust me. Yep. <laughs> but we're also gonna love him later in later games, but. <laughs> Like, oh yeah, actually, uh, like, since like, you finally played Dream Drop Distance, do you like him or, or Sora more in terms of gameplay? 
I don't know, honestly. I mean, I kind of like how uh, Riku's like, spirit things are like Birth by Sleep's reaction or command styles, but... Right. But Sora, at the same time, Sora is Invin a lot more useful. He's invincible. Also, by the way, um, from Kingdom Hearts 2, um, how fast did we get to the screen? Yeah, we got here like, uh, what has it been, like 10 minutes, maybe? Yeah. <laughs> well, we won't be seeing that in Kingdom Hearts. Huh? Yeah, this, this, this call, this second call is only going on for 15 minutes. Yeah, we won't be seeing that title screen in Kingdom Hearts 2 for at least a few hours. Mm -hmm. Now, before we talk to, we can talk to Kyrie here, but we can also um, get some stuff done right away. Yeah. You might as well talk to her now. We actually, might as well talk to her now because we're going to have to do it anyways. Yeah, so, just... can you gather the rest of the supplies? Yeah, I heard you. There's a unit space, two logs. Two logs, a cloth, a rope. Yeah. Just... Okay. I mean, just need to find all that, but. Yeah, but before we do that, we're gonna show some other things off. Yeah, so I well, think. But, uh, like the log, well, the logs right there. If you wanna grab it. Yeah. Um, you had. <laughs> you keep turning away the camera from the everywhere. Oh right, right, right. I think that's the log that Riku threw at us. <laughs> it probably is. Huh? 